What is up, peeps? FDW TV HD here, and I'd like to welcome you to another review video. In this video, we are going to be looking at the blue ice cream. Now, before we get into this, I would love it if you click that like button. If this did help you or you did enjoy it in any single way, it helps out a lot. So, thank you very much if you did. So, yeah, the blue ice cream, it is a, well, basically an audio interface, or what they say is a XLR to USB converter. Now, the reason why they can't call it uh, an audio interface, uh, by the way, if you don't know what an audio interface is, it's basically uh, a massive, like, box that you plug in instruments, microphones and stuff, and it converts its power uh, and allows you to use it in your PC because the power for uh, these types of uh, instruments, such as, you know, a powerful microphone and XLR and, uh, you know, the guitar and all that, uh, they, they're too powerful to be able to be um, supported by just the PC. So they need an external support. And that's what the audio interface is. So basically, the reason why I call this an audio interface is because it does that for the microphone and the reason I don't think it's labeled to not be an audio interface and is actually called an XLR to USB converter is because it doesn't have all the qualities of an audio interface and only focuses on one of the instruments and that is the microphone. So let's get into this and basically what the XLR to USB converter is, is basically as I said a second ago it allows you to use uh, microphones uh, on your PC. So if there's microphones other than a USB and they're called uh, cardioid or XLR microphones microphones that are too powerful uh, to be supported by your PC and these microphones have excellent quality and you do need uh, you know some some external source now if you don't want to use USB and use XLR uh, this is probably one of the best things for you to get because what this is as I said a second ago is basically an audio interface but you remove all the parts you don't want and you don't need such as the instrument the mixing and all that stuff and just keep two components the XLR power and the gain which is that knob that you can turn, as you can see on the icicle, you can turn it. Uh, and that's basically the gain, so it determines your volume of your microphone, so it's best fit for you. But that's what you're going to use it for, and it's really good for people who like to make music uh, music in terms of uh, vocals, or, you know, YouTubers, if you're doing commentaries like I am now, because I'm using it right now. I'm using it on a uh, CAD uh, GXL 2200 uh, uh, cardioid condenser microphone. So uh, it's quite an old one, but... I'll put a link to that in the description so you know exactly what you're dealing with when you're hearing this. But we're here to talk about the ice cream, what it can do. So let's get into this. And basically, I'm going to be showing you a quick clip now of me just holding the microphone, reviewing it, looking around and showing you its components. So as you can see, it does look a bit, it does look quite nice, to be fair. Um, and, you know, that's just the way it is. It does look very nice. It is white uh, and it does light up with LEDs, uh, which is quite nice when you plug it in. It is USB connected. So there is a little on the... Uh, on one of the sides, there's a little uh, USB slot that you can put it in. And then on the other side, there is the XLR slot. And it is a female, I think, connection where you plug in a male XLR connection from your other microphone. Now, uh, that's definitely what it is. There's also, a, as I said a second ago, a gain knob that you can turn and basically just give it a, control the volumes and all that stuff. So, yeah, it does feel cheaply made um, because it is made out of purely plastic. It is not metal, but I'm assuming that's what brings down the price as well. Uh, they, I think what they wanted to do is make sure they focus a lot on its price. So getting into how you basically use it, you get your uh, XLR microphone and as you can see there that is a female port and XLR will have a male underneath it or anywhere where it needs to be plugged in. And what you can do is you can actually plug it directly uh, from the icicle into your microphone. Uh, now this is the way I did it for like a, a few days or something until I got something else which I'm going to show you in a second. But you could do it like that and uh, it will probably work straight away as soon as you plug the micro USB in. As you can see I'm going to put this in now. As soon as you plug that in, uh, it will light up. Uh, it won't light up very bright in day, but at night it's, it is quite bright. Uh, it's just uh, they're not amazing LEDs, but they are decent. And yeah, so that's it would be quite sturdy, quite strong, but that's not the only way you have to do it. So what I decided to do is go and get myself a male to female XLR cable. Now what this is, is basically, it's just basically extending it and allow me to put the icicle somewhere else rather than get in the way and make the microphone feel two times longer, which you don't want. So uh, I decided to plug that in and then you can plug in the external uh, XLR at the end into the icicle and then you can plug the micro usb into the icicle and it'll work ex exactly the same and gives you a lot more freedom when moving it about so yeah there it is very nice and uh, i think that's the best way to do it if you want to plug it directly you can if you don't want to go out and buy an xlr cable that's all right i think on amazon they're worth about three quid i bought mine from a shop so i bought it for a bit more but i'm not too fast so yeah that's up to you if you want to do that and yeah that's how you do it so basically this is exactly where i sit it and just set it right there and and that's that's where it sits it's quite nice 
nice and quite easy to do. So you can just put it aside and just leave it there and it will do its job. So looking at a different angle here, we can see that it's basically on my setup. This is my basic setup. Uh, just showing you a different angle where it sits. It looks quite nice and it doesn't get in the way and that is important. It's also reachable to turn the gain. Uh, it does depend, you know, if you want to use that or not. You can do some other softwares and stuff and adjust your volumes there. But it's a lot easier to do it that way. It's a lot more reachable. And yeah, it's very, very useful and I do not regret buying it one bit. So guys, that is the blue icicle. Uh, now when you do plug it in, I just wanted to give you this extended information, and when you do plug it in, it will start installing it as a device, just let it install, don't click cancel, it will do that, and then in recording devices, on the bottom right hand side of your screen, you right click the volume button, go to recording devices, it will pop up as the blue icicle, so it identifies the blue icicle as the microphone, which is perfect, so that's when you know it's installed, and that's when you know it should start working on whatever program you're looking to work it on, right now I'm using Audacity for it to do this audio, but any program, it should work, as long as it you, you know, uses microphones to record. Well, I'm just going to tell you its retail price and where I bought it from and stuff like that. So, I got it from Amazon. I think it was around 42 quid for free delivery. So, 42 pounds. You think, oh, what, 42 quid for this little thing? You are completely missing the point. Audio interfaces are expensive, and I mean the real ones, the ones that you want to get, the ones that, you know, do all the other stuff, you know, they're really expensive, and it's completely pointless if you're buying it just for a microphone. If you're buying a whole audio interface for a microphone, you are completely misusing it, you're using about 10% of what it can do, and therefore you're paying way too much for what you're actually using it for. So as I said, this is basically an audio interface, but just focused on microphones. Now, if you want to use it on something else, you're going to use instruments stuff then go ahead and get this audio interface but this is perfect especially for people who like using microphones and it's so cheap compared to its other competitors on its market so it's definitely worth it and if you are looking to somehow get your Android microphone working on your PC this is the way to do it and it's a lot easier to do so there are other ones out there of course if you want to go look around uh, I think Shaw has got one I'm not too sure <laughs> see what I did there anyway check it out look around if you're not comfortable with this there are more out there but this is something I do not regret Regret, regret, regret buying. There we go. So, this has been SW TV HD. Slap the like button in the face if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one.